In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do conditional formatting for your drop-down lists here in the Google Sheets mobile app. So if you're working on a spreadsheet using your Google Sheets mobile app and you want to do some conditional formatting for your drop-down lists, here's how to do it. So first, in my example data set right here, what I'm going to do would be to select that drop-down right here. So once you've selected it, you can just go ahead and tap on the format icon at the top right here. Once you've done that, you can swipe up until you see conditional formatting. Once you tap on it here, we can create a rule that will be applied to the range that we've selected right here. So that's from B2 to B25. And our condition would be format cells. If, if we tap on that drop down, here are options. There we have it and some formatting style that we can select and some that we can also customize. Now, before we go ahead and create that conditional formatting in my example, what I want to do would be to highlight and have different formats for each of these products right here. So again, to start, you're going to select that data. Once you've selected it, go back to the format icon, swipe up and select conditional formatting. Once you've done that, again, we are going to set our conditions. So for this one, just tap on the drop down and we are going to select text is exactly. And what I'm going to put there would be lip balm. That's one of the products that I want to highlight and have a specific format to it. There we go. And for the moment, we're just going to select this formatting style. But again, later we can customize it. But for now, I'm just going to select that tap on done. And there we have it. So now you can see that the lip balm is highlighted in green, which is the formatting style that we've selected for that condition. Let's try that again. You can already see that we already have one rule, which is for the lip balm. Now let's try and add another one. So just tap on add at the bottom. There we go. This is again still applied to the same range that we've selected, which would be our drop down lists. Now go back to your condition, just tap on that drop down and then select text is exactly. So this time we're going to do liquid foundation. Here we go again. This time, how about we customize our formatting style by tapping on the custom right here. There we have it. So we can format our text, our text color and our fill color. Let's go ahead and format our text. Let's put that in bold. Our text color would be white. There we go. And our fill color would be a different color. Now, right now it's in custom, but if we go to basic, we have more color options for our format. Now that's going to be a lip balm. I'm going to just try and choose this color right here. If I tap on done, there we have it. And if I close this off, there it is. Now we have highlighted our lip balm and our liquid foundation using our conditional format with our format options. If I go ahead and zoom in like so, and let's say I'm going to change the concealer into something else. I'm going to put it in liquid foundation and there you have it. The format applies once that text is selected with your drop-down list. And there you have it. So again, if you want to add more, you can just go back to your format, scroll up, go to conditional formatting and tap on add. If you want to edit the ones that you already have, you can just simply tap on it. We're going to change the format of our lip balm. Let's try and customize it again. Put it in bold. Our text color will be, let's say white again. There we go. The fill color will be, let's say a light blue right here or a dark shade of blue. Tap on done. And there you have it. You've changed the format. And if we go back, there it is. It's automatically applied to your drop down lists. So that's how easy it is to apply conditional formatting for your drop down lists here in the Google Sheets mobile app. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.